got a spinner and a crash down in turn two, and now it's becoming a multiple deal. All sorts of trouble. It started with it looked like uh, Kenny Wallace getting up in there. Or not Kenny Wallace, I'm sorry, it was the 39 that got in started. Eddie McDonald, along with the Zaxby's car, the 09, John West Townley. The 29, remember Stephen Light had to go to the rear. It caught him. And that caught him right there. I mean, that was a bad deal. They had to make some adjustments to this car because of it. Had to go tailback, and now he's got himself in a wreck. And boy, the 73 car, Chase Miller, this was going to be a start and park car. He got wiped out right off the bat. Big melee down the middle of turn one and two. A lot of tore up cars. We're uh, completing eight laps. Robert Richardson also in this in the 23. Let's go back and see how it all started. Looks like oil on a racetrack. He dropped some oil. Something oh, happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Something happened. He blew a, blew a line or blew a motor. And everybody else was just kind of along for the ride. Eddie McDonald, here he is from Lee, New Hampshire. Won the Oxford 250. Just digging along. Great family team. Run second in the Camping World East race. You can't do nothing once you hit oil. And I'm saying that is just bad luck for Eddie McDonald. Like you said, he won the Oxford 250. Randy, I was actually there. I watched him run all day long. He just flat flew throughout the day. And this was an opportunity race for Eddie to get out here and show what he had. Now his day is over. Robert Richardson, John West Tonley's in this thing, Justin Marks, and Stephen Light in that Richard Childress number 29 holiday in car. So we have our first caution. Remember, two years ago, we had a near, well, record for here, nearly the all-time record, 25, just one shy of the record of 26 set back at Hickory back in 1996. Last year, a lot less. The fewest we've ever had has been seven, and we've had our first here with uh, now nine laps complete, and there they are in Pitt Road working on the 29. 